lesson, we're going to talk about punctuation, um, what punctuation to put at the end of a sentence, and how your voice should sound. So I've made a little anchor chart that we're going to go over. Punctuation plus my voice. When we're making a statement and we're saying a sentence with a lot of feeling, we're going to put an exclamation point at the end of it, but our voice goes up. So, for instance, if I say, no way, or I say, stop, my voice goes up. You can hear it at the end. If I say, what a great game today, you hear the influx in my voice. Now, if we are just saying regular sentences every day where we have periods at the end, then our voice kind of drops at the end of the sentence. For instance, I like dogs. I like cats. My cat has black fur. Not really exciting sentence, just kind of drops off there at the end. Now, question marks, you raise your voice and then you kind of pause because you're actually pausing for the answer. So, the example I have here is, do you like pizza? If I asked you, what is your favorite color? What is your dog's name? Do you hear my voice go up on that last word? Yes. And then you, I pause, I'm waiting for an answer. If I was to say a whole, sen a whole paragraph of sentences, Hi, my name is Mrs. Baxter. I teach second grade. What grade are you in? My favorite color is red. What color is your favorite color? I have a dog. Actually, I have two dogs. I have a cat. I have a lot of fish. And I have eight chickens. Do you have chickens in your backyard? I do. And they're terrific. Do you hear how my voice goes up and down in each of the ends of, at the ends of each of those sentences? Well, that concludes our little mini lesson today on punctuation plus my voice. And this chart will be hanging in the classroom for you to look at it as we go through the activities together as a class you, in case you have questions. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.